Hey guys, I am Game Advisor, and welcome back to another Icarus Mission video. Today we're going to be talking about the mission Ramp Up Stockpile. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing you'll want to do upon landing is go ahead and head to what we call the Super Cave located in the Riverlands biome here in C3. After arriving, you'll want to build up a very small shelter, and you're going to want to go ahead and start grinding up to a machining bench so that you can craft a concrete furnace and a concrete mixer, which will be required in order to do this mission. After you complete this, you will want to smelt 350 glass, which if you didn't know, is made from silicone inside the concrete furnace. Then you will need 250 concrete mix, which is made inside the concrete mixer, just in case you didn't know again. Now, following that, you will also want to craft yourself six biofuel containers, and ensure that they are entirely filled. One filled biofuel container counts as 10,000 biofuel, which you're going to need 60,000 for this mission. The easiest way to do this is to just use sticks and tree sap or wooden tree sap in order to fill them up inside the biofuel composter. Now lastly, you will want to fill 10 steel oxygen tanks up with air. You need at least 10 as your minimum. You could do this with smaller oxygen tanks using the, like leather airbags or something, but you're going to need an absolute metric ton of them. So I recommend just going ahead and making the steel tanks. It's much easier and it's a lot less that you're going to have to carry. Now after you're completing all of this, you will then need to deliver these resources to two different drop locations. The first location is located here in the Riverlands biome. And upon arrival, you will see a drop pod come down from the sky. You will then need to bring 350 glass that you have smelted, as well as 250 concrete mix that you've made to this drop pod. After depositing it into the drop pod, you should see it shoot back up into space to confirm that you've deposited the resources required for the mission. Now next, go ahead and head back to your base to pick up the 10 filled oxygen tanks and six filled biofuel containers, if you didn't bring them with you already that is. After this, head out to the second location which is located here in the desert biome. Upon arrival, once again, you should see a drop pod fall out of the sky. Deliver your filled oxygen tanks and filled biofuel containers, then once again it will shoot back up into space confirming you've completed that part of the mission. Now at this stage you have essentially finished the mission and you can go ahead and head back to your drop pod. However, it's worth mentioning once again it is a long run as a lot of these missions are, so if you don't have anything you care about losing, you can just kind of go ahead and let a wolf or a hyena kill you in order to get you back quickly. Now, with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, you found it informative, and if you want to see more missions guide, tutorials, tips videos, beginner's guides, whether or not you should even buy some survival games, please make sure to subscribe to our channel as we cover a ton of survival game content and are currently focusing quite a bit on Icarus. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Game Advisor, and I'll see you next time.